Hi, and welcome to another Autodesk Eagle tutorial. Today, we'll learn the different methods available to create the manufacturing files from your project. From the Eagle control panel, I'll double click my project to open up my board. The first thing I should do is take a look at my layer stack up. That way I make sure that Eagle is always using the appropriate template when I'm generating my manufacturing data. You notice that this is a four layer board the two outer layers and two inner layers, which is layer two and layer 15. Now let's return to the PCB workspace. You'll notice on the action toolbar, there's two icons, one for generate CAM data and one for CAM processor. The generate CAM data is a one click solution. Let's start there first. Once we select the generate CAM data icon, you'll notice that automatically the four layer template got selected. The Gerber files as well as the drill files have been created. You got your drill, your job file which will be stored as well, layers 1, 2, 3, and 4 Gerber files, your profile which is your outline, your solder mask top and bottom, your solder paste top and bottom, and your silk screen top and bottom. By clicking OK you'll be prompted in what folder you want these files to be stored. It's going to create one file because it's going to zip them all up in that one folder. By default, it will be going to the project root folder. As you can see, it only took a few seconds to create the file. And you see it's in the same root folder as my project. The zip file that is generated has the exact same name as my board in addition to the date of when the CAM processor was used to create the manufacturing files. Let's return to the PCB workspace. We'll go ahead and select the CAM processor icon. Notice that the four layer template got automatically loaded. We have a open job option which allows you to load jobs such as most recent jobs that were used. Local jobs as well. Local jobs, if I had any made in my CAM folder they would appear there. We have our legacy jobs as well as some jobs that have been contributed by different manufacturers. And we have our default templates which can be selected as well. Notice that the CAM processor has a very useful preview window. As I select the different sections, my preview will change. There's a negative image option which will actually affect only that section. That way I could generate a negative image of that layer. Down on the bottom, you will have your advanced options which allow you to mirror the Gerber file section that you have selected as well as change the offset. The layer icon allows you to add more layers to that section. It's quite possible you've added some more information to a particular layer which you wish to include in this Gerber section. Now, the file is going to be exported to the root folder of the project file. There's also the option to automatically zip it up. Files are going to be stored on the root folder of my project to a subfolder called CAM Outputs. It will include two subfolders for my Gerber files as well as for my drill files. Click on Process Job to generate your manufacturing files. After the CAM processor has been ran, it will provide you the option to open up the directory where your CAM outputs are available. You'll notice the two subfolders for your drill files as well as your Gerber files. Now you're ready to send these files to a board house or to preview them with a Gerber viewer. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day.